Hey, YouTube fans. Hi. It's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels. <laughs> How you doing? And in this episode, we're going to talk about the top 10 things that the cruise lines never tell you. They got their lips zipped. The first thing, and frankly, what Frank and I feel is the number one thing that they don't tell you, is that balconies, frankly, are overrated. I know. I mean, we enjoyed it, but you know what? It's no big deal. You don't spend all that time in your cabin. And if you Correct. do, you're, you're, not, you're not working that cruise right. That's right. <laughs> now, a few things to consider is that uh, the cruise lines typically charge between 25 and 30 percent more than an inside cabin for a balcony room. You could be spending that on a shore excursion, on a specialty restaurant, mm -hmm. on uh, liquor, uh, souvenirs. Souvenirs and gifts and possibly some jewelry. Gambling. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> Or in this case, push the button, push the button, push the button. So now that you know that, maybe you'll reconsider the next time you're looking at a balcony cabin. That's right. Don't be swayed by the, oh, let's get a balcony. <laughs> nah. The next item that cruise lines have their little lips locked on is that cabin quality varies quite a bit it from sure, cabin to cabin. It surely does. Now, we have lucked out on almost all of our cruises with the cabins that we've selected. However, this little bald guy right here does a heck of a lot of research right. before we go away. And we also count on Donna at cruises.com. Right. She's our travel agent to advise us whether or not that cabin is not right for us. Right. So please do yourself a favor right. and listen to the professionals. That's right. Now, you know, a lot of people or do on, some research on this end of the spectrum. They just pick up the phone and they call and they say, hi, hi, so-and-so travel agent. I'd love to go on a cruise. Uh, some people suggested this cruise line, you know, where, what can you get me on? And the, you know, your travel agent does all the work and says, you know, I can get you on this cruise. You said these dates, uh, you know, this ship, and I've got you in this cabin or you know, inside or balcony or whatever. And like, oh, okay, thank you. Now we and, don't work that way. No, we're on the other end of the spectrum. I pick up the telephone after I've done all of my research, right. mm. and I say, I want this cabin on this ship right. sailing on this date. Right, because Kevin has already looked at all the cruises that are available, how much they are. He has already looked at deck plans. So he's like, well, we're on the NCL Jade, and I found a handicap, a full turnaround cabin on deck eight. And, I and there's nothing below right. it except cabins, and there's nothing right. above it except cabins, and there's nothing beside it except right. cabins, because we want to have a peaceful sleep. Right. Now, on the NCL Gem Cruise, we were on deck 11, and unfortunately, we got one of the last handicap accessible interior rooms that were available. And the problem with that cabin at times was uh, they would be moving deck chairs above us. Yes. And it didn't, it wasn't happening all the time. But, you know, there were, there were a few occasions at 11 o'clock at night we heard drag, 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 drag. So... Uh, that's why it is very important to do your research ahead right. of time or to mention your requirements exactly. to just, your travel agent. Just mention to your travel agent, you, did you check the deck plan? Because I don't want my cabin to be underneath the discotheque. Or even just say, 
I would like to know what's above me, what's right. below me, what's on either side exactly. of me. If you want to be close to an elevator. Right. Uh, some people don't want to be close to an elevator. Because they don't want that constant traffic. But for us, it's nice to be near the elevator so we don't have to do the, as I call it, the long corridor walk of shame. And in most occasions, in most ships, uh, your handicap accessible cabins will be located near the elevators for convenience. So do your due diligence and ask the right questions and start, you know, planning on your own because it's only going to make your cruising even better every time. That's right. What's next? Well, the next thing is a very interesting thing mm. because I know a lot of people out there uh, love to gamble. Who would that be? Well, I love to gamble too, <laughs> but the ship's uh, casinos... They don't play by the rules. Yeah, and why is that? Well, there aren't any rules. Yeah. <laughs> Once you cross that two-mile barrier and you're out to sea in, in international, international waters, waters, there's no gaming rules. So they can set those slots not to pay you if they want. They can raise their limits and not grandfather you in. They kind of make their own rules at that point. Um, that's that I think frankly that's another reason why they can't be open when they're in port or when they get closer to port because then they would have to follow the rules of uh, whatever municipality they're porting in. Mm -hmm. Scam. So keep your eyes open and play smart. Oh Lord, here's the next <laughs> one. Now we have a lot of, I, I have a lot of experience on this next one. I do just the opposite. <laughs> it's of course, you will gain weight. Now statistics uh, from the cruise lines show that people gain one pound for every day that they are on a cruise. Mm -hmm. And the last cruise we came back from in February, um, I weighed myself the day we left and I weighed myself the day we came back. I gained 10 pounds. We were gone 10 days. 10 days, 10 pounds. Statistics, unfortunately, were correct. I lost 8 pounds. Kevin lost 8 pounds. <laughs> hey, Joe. That being said, that being said, uh, even though the cruise lines don't tell you that you're going to gain weight, anybody with half a brain knows they're going to be gaining weight because... Typically, they're going to be a little bit more sedentary. Right. They're, they're, on going, vacation. To, they're going to be eating quite a bit more. Foods included. Uh, a lot more richer types of food. I don't want to say it's a free-for-all, but it's pretty much a free-for-all. So knowing that information <laughs> and knowing myself, I choose to take the stairs. I uh, walk an awful lot. Okay, uh, you just checklist. Two things I can't. Well, I'm just saying... Hence, the 10 pounds. Hence the 10 pounds. Whereas I, if, if you are able to be uh, mobile, more mobile, then walk a little bit more. Take mm -hmm. the stairs. Right. Uh, and that will deter right. your body from gaining exactly. that extra weight. Leave the elevators available for guests like me who need them. If you're just going up and down, you need to go up and down one flight or two, use the stairs. The next item that oh. the cruise lines do not tell you, yeah. but we've told you in previous videos, and if you haven't watched our packing video uh, or the top 10 things to bring on a cruise video, right. yep. you need to watch it because one of the items we talk about, you'll need for this. Right. And that's air freshener. Right. And you know why? You're in a small cabin. You're in a smaller bathroom than you're probably used to. Right. There are no windows, no proper ventilation. Well, I, I would tell you, there's no windows or proper ventilation in the bathroom itself. Right. Uh, so Hence, people, people the, might be thinking, oh. there's no ventilation. I'm in a balcony room. Oh, no, no. So We're talking about the bathrooms. The immediate bathroom. In your cabin, we're talking about the public bathrooms that are on the ship. Um, there have been a few times that uh, coming out of the, uh, the buffet area and kind of says, okay, now what do you want to do? And I'm like, okay, well, let's do this. But first, uh, I need to stop 
at the handicapped bathroom. It's right here. And you go in and it smells like an outhouse. And I would, you know, do my business, come out, and then gently beckon the hostess uh -huh. and confidentially say, um, excuse me, but I think you need to get a crew member uh, maybe inside the bathroom. It needs a bit of freshening up. <laughs> So keep keep right. that in mind and don't let it ruin your cruise. That's right. But I mean, as they say, shit happens. And it does. <laughs> the next item on our list is you might skip that port. Yeah. Now we if include, you cruise and you cruise and you cruise and you cruise. It's you know, usually not it's not gonna be a big deal to you. Like, you if you've what? cruised often. We've been there, it's you know, we've done that. Do you wanna get off the ship? Yes, it's disappointing sometimes when you miss a port. Uh, but in times where they have had to go to a different mm -hmm. port, we've been uh, pleasantly surprised. Maybe it's a port we haven't been to. Right. Um, maybe it's a port we wanted to revisit, but it wasn't included on that particular itinerary. Yeah, and what a surprise. I know. Now it is. So, just go with the flow. Right. Because you might be surprised. I know we're a little concerned. Mm -hmm. um, there's, you know, a few hurricanes that have been bearing down on a... Uh, on uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, that's and that's right. one of our ports. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the day uh, of Frank's birthday. And uh, when the news channel tells you that Hurricane Irma is the largest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic. And it's, it's and the hurricane is a blip this big on the screen. <laughs> and uh, Puerto Rico is like <laughs> this right. big. It's a little concerning. And so <clears throat> we uh, hope and pray for the best for the people of Puerto Rico. We do. That's number one. That's number one. But that being said, if, if that port is canceled for us. Maybe the docks were damaged uh, and they just need to divert or whatever. You go with the flow. And you, yeah, you go with the flow. They'll either give you an extra sea day right. or they may port at a totally different right. place. And what a great surprise for you. I know. So you know what? Don't worry. Be happy. That's right, Mon. What's <laughs> next? Oh, well, I know we find this to be yes. true. Um, we have seen a lot of this. We've seen a lot. Uh, it's, the, the next item is don't expect to get a seat by the pool. I know. Um, it's crazy out there. Generally, when, when we say that, it's your, you might not get right next to the pool. Everybody wants to be right next yes. to the pool. They want to be in that front row, like a couple of feet away from the pool. And that, Why? Not I don't get happen, it. But a lot of times, boy, you're thinking, oh, wow, what time is it? We've had breakfast. Okay, let's go to the pool. And you get there. It is loaded. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is like standing room only. And people are saving lounge chairs with all their personal items and their towels and Everything saved. Everything saved, and you're like, I mean, well, I that know. doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, they're very, they're, they're getting very strict on that. They're getting very strict yeah. on that. There's, uh, uh, there's like a 15 minute rule on, on a lot of the cruise lines that if that seat has been sitting there for 10 or 15 minutes, an employee is going to come over, take that stuff off that chair, put it in the lost and found, and you right. got to go get it. That's right. So if you think you're going to go there at nine in the morning. And put your towel and leave your stuff or whatever, your tote bag with, full of whatever, and then go in and have breakfast buffet and do this and do that and get your hair done and get your nails done or whatever, mm -hmm. and then come back an hour or two later, uh, it's, that is not going to happen. And, and I got a little, uh, a little side story to tell you folks about leaving your things at the pool. Because <laughs> I don't know if you remember or not. We were on the Carnival Conquest. What year were we on the Conquest? Uh, 2014. We were on the Carnival Conquest in 2014. And there were two sisters on the, on the cruise. Mm -hmm. And they would go out every day. Because I get up real early. Watch the sunrise, get our coffee. He's filming, he's okay, taking filming, pictures. doing stuff. While well, he's still in La La Land. <laughs> so every morning I saw them out at like 5 30 6 o'clock with their carnival towels because y'all know they leave towels for you to use right you can't keep them or take them home you will be charged for them and that's where the story comes <laughs> because they would set, revenge they would set up and they would 
we're going to save these seats. And, you know, you could almost see that, that they knew they were staking their territory. Well, by the fourth day, somebody <laughs> got wise, had gotten wise that they had been doing this because they were always in the same spots. And they took their towels. They took their carnival towels and they didn't return them to the towel area. They didn't put them in lost and found. It wasn't an employee. It was another guest on the cruise ship. Who had had it out to here with these two sisters. And they decided that they were getting a carnival souvenir on these two sisters' uh, credit card. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it wasn't us. It wasn't us. No, so, you know, we don't need we, any we, towels. We might chuckle and laugh, but, but it was, we wouldn't do it. It wasn't us. So be careful when you yeah. leave your stuff just sitting around. So, when you think you're going to stake it out, nobody's going to touch them. Those towels were listed on that bill they got. Are they like 38 or $40? <laughs> $40, oh, I think. Oh, Lord. A piece? I'd be freaking out. So don't be staking out. That's right. You know, it's a big ship. We can all share it. Play nice. <laughs> What's next? Wow. Oh, the, the thing that everyone dreads. Everybody dreads, dreads getting and, sick yeah, on the ship. And we're happen. not talking seasick. Right. We are talking neurovirus. Right. We are talking flu. We are talking colds. Um, the cruise lines don't tell you that a cruise ship can be a breeding area right. for disease, pestilence. Right. <laughs> for bacteria so we always advise everyone that's why you see a lot of the um, the hand sanitizer stations the constant you know washing of the hands mm -hmm. um, you know you get that bring, neuro, bring uh, sanitizer yes, with you get you. that neurovirus on a ship and it can spread like wildfire wash I your believe hands they are they have to reach a certain level of illness i think before they go into panic mode. Their panic mode, <laughs> yeah. And what they go down their checklist mm -hmm. of cleaning, and they go through the special procedures in terms of cleaning the ship, right? Notifying guests uh, if they're forced to go into a certain number of guests that are <clears throat> sick and in quarantine. Boom! They spring into action. Now, uh, the neurovirus and the viruses and are all spread by people not washing right. their hands. It's very, very, very simple to control this. Right. I don't know how many times, I, and I can only speak to the gentlemen out there, because I use the gentlemen's room, okay, the men's room. How many times I have been in that men's room and seen people go to the bathroom and start walking out, and I, as a cruiser, open my mouth, because y'all know I'm not quiet anyways, and say, you better get your butt back here and wash your hands. <laughs> you and imagine? they look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. I'm like, dude, wash your hands. And so frankly, I feel like it's all of our responsibility in the cruise community to call out those people that don't right. wash their hands because they're the ones that are going to make you That's sick. That's right, because you, they've got it on their hands. They're touching things, they're touching you, they're shaking hands, they're whatever, and it's it can be transmitted so quickly. And that's why the ships try to really be on top of mm -hmm. the cleanliness issue. Next on the list, oh, sad, the final two. Yeah. Yeah. Next on our list is something that we really don't like to talk no, about. we don't like to talk about. We don't like to see it on the news. Yeah. Um, knock on wood, it has never happened on any of our cruises. But people it do, almost did. Yeah, people do go overboard on the ship. Uh, nine times out of ten, and accidents happen, accidents happen. But nine times out of ten, it's because people have overindulged. And uh, when you've had a few too many libations... Uh, you become Superman, and you think, right. oh, I can sit on that railing. <laughs> right. Well, let me tell you, a good wind comes up, 
or maybe Ooh, a wave, I know. you're overboard. I mean, if I do that, the only thing that's going to happen is I'm probably just going to roll into a wall. <laughs> but, you know, other people do crazy stuff. And it can be, it can be very serious. Yeah, watch me balance myself on the top of the railing of my balcony. Oh, what's that? Look over and you know, grab it. I mean, people do crazy stuff. And then they end up going overboard and, you know, getting killed. I just don't understand. You're there to have a good time. Mm -hmm. But alcohol uh, makes people do a lot of crazy stuff. That's right. So, enough said on that. Last thing on our list is... <laughs> happens, something that will never happen to us. It happened once on one cruise and yeah, it's never going to happen yeah, again. A lesson learned. <laughs> Show the lesson. <laughs> He's wearing You'll that. spend too much money. Yes. You'll spend more than you plan to spend. Yeah. You know, you're on vacation. People get caught up in the moment. And the credit cards come flying out if you're in port. The sale and sign cards come mm -hmm. flying out a little too often while you're on the ship. And all of a sudden, you get the bill. And you're like, what? holy crap. You're like, what? Who, who spent this? So we have a few tips for you about how to uh, manage that, rein that spending right, in. Right. First of all, I noticed that the cruise lines are very quick to hand you that sale and sign card and get you all excited. You don't have to pay cash. That's you fine. use this card for everything. And people just go, wow, yeah, I'll have another drink. Yeah, I'll have another drink. Yeah, I'll have another drink. I know. And they give you receipts on the cruise. That's right. And what people do is they sign and then they throw them away. And they forget about it. No. Now, what we do is... We have an envelope. That's right. One of us is responsible for it. His name is Kevin. He's, I'm the accountant. He's the accountant. So I, I keep all the receipts mm -hmm. together uh, throughout the day. And then they turn them over to and me. And then I turn them over to Frank. And I... And when we get our final bill, we audit our final well, bill. Well, because I will tell you... Out of all of our cruises, out of all the cruises that we've been on, maybe two have been accurate billings. Yeah. There's always been yeah. an extra charge for a drink, and, and it's just because there's so many people on the ship. Right. But we, we, we usually, I usually do a daily tally. I mean, yes. Kevin will come and say, oh, I just want to let you know, oh, here, here's a receipt. I just got a drink of the day. And I'm like, okay, and I have uh, in my, uh, my uh, travel binder that I bring with us, I have a form that I, that I have in there, and I keep track of all our purchases on the ship. So at the end of the night, I know this is how much we've spent, mm -hmm. you know, that wasn't free. Um, and then during the course of the cruise, Kevin will say, you know what, I went down to guest services, and I requested a copy of what our billing is so far to date, and he'll bring it back. Well, you know, there's this, there's these new things, you know, this new technology. This new technology, I've heard. <laughs> so many of the cruise ships now have apps for your phone uh, that you can use for free while you're on board, and they'll connect to their ship's Wi-Fi, and you'll yeah. only have access to the app. You won't have access yeah. to I don't have a phone. Any kind I'm of Wi-Fi stuff. I'm not allowed to have a phone. So. You can check your bills on there. Yeah. You so. can check your bills on the television. You yes. can, a lot of the ships now have these machines that look like ATM machines. You swipe, you put in a PIN number, you can check your bill. Yes. So, Frank and I don't want to hear that you overspent. I know. Keep an eye on that bottom you line. You do not want to get up the morning of uh, when you disembark <laughs> on the ship and your bill is usually slipped uh -oh. under your door or in your outside mailbox of your cabin and you open it and you go, oh, we got our final bill and you look at it and you know what? You never make it off the ship because you, you just fell over and dropped out of a heart attack because you spent like three times more than you were planning on and going, oh my God, how did this happen? I mean, Or I would, you might not be able to get off the ship. Yeah, because uh, it, it's not going to go through on the charge card. Now, I had a lot of friends growing up that, you know, getting their first charge card, they would be going crazy charging. And I would say, oh my gosh, what did you buy and how much did they cost? And like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, well, how much did you pay? And their answer would be, oh, nothing. I didn't pay anything. I charged it. I mean, they acted like charging it was not actually spending money, like a bill was not going to come, you know, and that little monster wasn't going to show up in their mailbox. So I don't know what people think. I don't know. So, you know, we try to avoid that, except for that one time. 
That, well, you know. then one time we bought we bought my ring. Been looking for it for many many years. Found what I wanted. I got it approved through uh, Mastercard and through Master Frank. They said it was okay. <laughs> I gave the seal of approval on it. And yeah. the last day we got uh, we got our bill along with a phone call saying that our last charge wasn't authorized. Now what we didn't realize is that the charge card we used on the island of St. Thomas to buy Kevin's ring was the same card that we had connected to our sale and sign card. And it didn't dawn on us that the sale and sign cruise ship bill was going to, you know, oh my God, was going to have this extra money on it from the ring purchase. We should have used another credit card. Right, we, which now we do. Right, and we didn't do that. So now... We have separate credit cards for ports on the islands mm -hmm. and just the one credit card for sale and sign on the ship, so we avoid that. But Now, in that instance, we took some cash. Frank had won at the casino. I won like $600 on my little pig machine. <laughs> and I ran downstairs that night and paid $600 yeah. towards our bill, which reduced it. So when they ran the final numbers. And when they ran the final numbers, we were, we were clear and good to go. Right. Otherwise, in that instance, they wouldn't let you off the ship right. until you've made arrangements to get the bill paid. That's and right. when they say arrangements, they want you to call a family member or a friend mm -hmm. with their credit card number and they want it before you get off the That's ship. That's right. You, can, you are not leaving. Otherwise, you're remanded to the Port Authority. That's right. Security will hold you. Uh, and you will not be allowed to leave because, you know, it's like, it's like being in We've a... We've seen it happen. Yes, it's like being uh, in a hotel and just skipping out in the middle of the night. It's the same thing with a cruise ship. If you don't pay your bill and can't pay your bill, you do not leave. Don't leave. <laughs> he has this thing for pounding on the table. I'm just saying, you can't go. <laughs> so... Don't let it happen to you. And we hope that you found these... Uh, little secrets that the cruise line doesn't want you to know uh interesting yeah because you know they want you to have it's all about fun and games until the bill comes <laughs> so until then we want to remind you to <laughs> travel safe and cruise often bye now bye